welcome back to Studio Lou. I'm Cindy. I have now the second in my um, dozen gnome journals that I want to share videos of. Um, so this is a book that I built myself. The front and back cover are impressionist uh, paintings from a sketchbook that I that I found, and I really loved this like square shape. I thought like it's a fun, different kind of journal. So. It's quite fat. It has four signatures, um, but it has a lot of room for expansion. It's not like, you know, like really gator mouth open or anything. Um, <clears throat> so on the front of the journal, uh, there are some original images from vintage gnome books. Um, if you haven't seen my first video on the gnome book series, you might want to check it out. Um, I can link to it in the description box. There I explain essentially how I came into all of the snow imagery um, and yeah so that's in that video I won't repeat myself for anyone who's watching the whole series so on the front I have a bit of uh, text from a book it says gnomes have their own secret way of telling time based on cosmic oscillation it is no trick at all for them to predict long-term periods of dry or wet weather severe or mild winters expecting this however they use our method of timekeeping some of them have silver or gold watches the cuckoo clock that hangs in every gnome's house is the traditional wedding present given to the groom on his wedding day a gnome keeps track of his age through the growth of an acorn planted in the ground on his day of birth a lime tree planted on the same day somewhere in the vicinity will do just as well that's actually really funny and ironic and not planned at all actually but i'm wearing my cuckoo clock swatch today so yeah, I did not plan that, <laughs> but it's quite funny. Um, and then at the bottom of this journal, on one of the signatures, I've tied this little uh, toadstool uh, bead, and it's super cute. And on the spine of the book, uh, this is a fabric-bound uh, book. I built the spine myself. I built this whole book. I have used the original um, gnomes. Um, this was on the spine of the original book, and it's been sealed down on the fabric. This book is closed with a hand-dyed elastic, a knob closure at the front, and on the back there's a metal um, eyelet that goes through the back cover, and I have a handmade by me wooden button to just hold the, the cover and play, or the, um, the enclosure in place. So let's get started and open this book up. Okay. So... On the inside of the book here, let's move our little friend over a bit, um, I've used original imagery from one of the book pages. It has all the little gnome clothing and this cute little toadstool and it talks about essentially gnome's clothing and um, this is the first page is just avocado dyed paper that I've dyed. And on this page, we have a large pocket. This is original book imagery of a gnome sort of talking to a large bird. And inside we have watercolor paper. But even more special is that this is a mushroom spore print that I've sealed. Um, so you can journal on this. This is from my trip recently to Quebec where I did a lot of mushroom hunting. And so I wanted to include um, some really interesting spore prints here and there where I could. I was able to... Um, check out a lot of really beautiful mushrooms. I, I posted a little bit about it on my Instagram um, about my vacation, but yeah, it's a really good year for um, fungus and mycelium. So, And then throughout the series of journals, you'll see that I've used a lot of Grey's Anatomy imagery, especially in these larger books, because I have a really huge copy of Grey's Anatomy and the illustrations are amazing. And on this side, we have a Lincoln Sparrow illustration. And just lots of journaling space here. And on this page, um, I have coffee dyed an envelope and put this lovely um, rose sticker on the front. So you can open the envelope up and inside is a journal card of a gnome on a scale and a little leaf on the back. And that's original book images. 
and behind here we have another original book image and it's a fox giving this little gnome a hand to open this door of a human's home And here we have a belly band. Um, uh, this is a, a fish and this is a children's um, storybook about fruits and vegetables and I've used it throughout this series as well because it's very nice bright colors and on theme and there's a little leaf here um, and then there's this little journal card of a little girl gnome smelling flowers and it's been collaged and on the back we have a nice little um, little bit of writing about gnomes. I won't read everything, so I do leave a little bit to the imagination for whomever may purchase this journal. And this side we just have some dyed papers. You'll see a lot of large format um, encyclopedia that's been um, either coffee, cabbage, avocado, or blueberry dyed um, throughout these books. And this is um, a vintage illustration of birds. Lots of vintage birds. This is a book page from um, a Griffin and Sabine book. And a little vintage fish illustration. And another lovely bird and some beautiful botanicals. And this is a large pocket made from some really pretty paper. Um, it's actually a double pocket. So in the top, we have original book imagery of a bunch of rabbits, sort of on a, a shoreline at dusk. And on the back, this beautiful butterfly. And that just tucks in behind. And to the side, we have another um, pocket, I believe, yes. Sometimes I forget what I've done because it's been a little while since I made the journals. Um, and then this one is a squirrel and on the back a little duckling. And a bit of stamping, a few little acorns. And coffee dyed paper. And um, this is another theme that sort of falls through the journals is this um, dyed paper that's blueprint sort of of uh, boat building, wooden boat building. And this is more botanicals and another pocket the same as the other one except it's only a single pocket but with a large journal tag inside with this really funny gnome so that gnome and it's uh, coffee dyed and collage on the back this gnome there's a few of them throughout this series um and they're really funny they sort of remind me of like well exactly what they are which is the ceramics that you would see that were manufactured um in like the 70s also the 80s and what this is actually from um, a long time ago I came across a whole collection of ceramic molds and at the time I was doing a lot of pottery so I wanted to use a bunch of them um, in different sculptural pottery that I was doing so this is from a catalog that people could order molds from. So you could actually, as a potter, you could order this mold to create these gnomes yourself. So it's from that catalog. And this is a vintage bird card. More birds. And on this side, we have this original book image of um, a little gnome nesting in this, um, I guess, this is a pheasant and there's like a little belt around her neck and she's got a gnome sleeping in a little nest and inside is just a little gnome standing outside of his cabin and that's a journal card with some botanical on the back Um, and then this is actually a pocket that I made from my own batik um, fabric that I made myself. I, it's all batik with um, hot beeswax and dyed. I did this process all myself. It's cotton. And um, so it's a pocket and inside there is a journal card. And that is a gnome in the snow building a little snow gnome. And you'll see later in the series, I've actually done two journals that have this same toadstool fabric that is crazy quilted on the covers of the journals. And here we have a sleepy old tortoise and some more birds, more, more of that large format um, dictionary or encyclopedia. 
And then here we have, uh, this is a folded kind of card pocket. Behind it though, um, is a coloring page from um, a coloring book called Pandora. And it has a lot of beautiful um, fungus and plants and just kind of fantasy type um, images. This is a little moth here, or butterfly, and you open it up and all the flaps open up and inside I've placed another piece of the Pandora coloring book paper and this one has teapots on it and this one has owls and other uh, little creatures and lots of mushrooms. And then down here is actually a little pocket and so this is about um, when gnomes, their son, like when little boy gnomes turn 13, um, their fathers take them outside to teach them many things every gnome should know. Knowledge of mushrooms and herbs and how to distinguish between edible and poisonous plants and friendly or dangerous animals. And so that's just a little journal card. It tucks in there and then that folds up, that folds down and that closes up like that. And then on this side we have a pocket with a monarch butterfly and inside is a journal tag, a duck on the back and here we have sort of a, a, a gnome with his children and over here is another bird. And this is some um, exotic wood from um, a collection of sort of exotic wood veneers that I got for a project some time ago and I sort of use them here and there throughout these journals. This is a Grey's Anatomy page. Uh, this is a belly band uh, created from original book imagery. These are all of the tools that gnomes use. And a collaged journal card for writing on. More avocado dyed paper with the polka dots and a coffee dyed envelope with this little butterfly it's been sewn across and inside we have a journal card um, with some original book imagery and a little bit written about squirrels from the gnome perspective of course and that's on more Grace Anatomy paper. On this side, we have a tuck pocket that is, it talks about gnomes and their use of St. John's wort to cure depression and general bitterness. Um, so there's actually quite a few of these really cute cards that talk about how gnomes use different plants, shepherd's purse. Um, so yeah, I won't read all of them. I'll leave a little bit to whoever may purchase this journal. You can't give away all the gnome secrets coffee dyed paper and these are these lovely little birds this is original book imagery as well and more vintage birds and then just some red um, paper with white polka dots kind of likened to um, a toadstool and some salmon on graph paper avocado paper and this lovely bee collecting pollen and a vintage bird card and then this is um, a large uh, pocket to tuck uh, writing um, cards into. And there's a little gnome helping out a, um, a hedgehog here. And then just this nice botanical sticker. And um, there are two journal cards in here with some images. This is a gnome with a caterpillar on her hat and a couple of um, anthropomorphic mushrooms um, swatting at a bee. And they're both journal cards to write on. This side we have a side tuck of um, a gnome sitting in a, on a throne and um, a card inside of a gnome carrying a piece of wood and it has a little leaf on the back and a little bird over here and this is actually a pocket and inside is this nice little journal card with this beautiful bird. This is a bird of paradise and it has this, um, this is actually spalted maple. It's actually the real wood veneer that I've used as kind of a pull. And I've sewn around the card and put a little toadstool. Actually, it's not really. That's a, what is it? A fly agaric mushroom on the back. And that just pops in there. And then there's sort of a little bug collection cabinet of curiosum um, sort of cabinet those um, that people would label or number different little bug specimens and um, this is a bird it's cut out up here and this is more of the 
coffee dyed blue print of the boat and some more of the coloring page from the coloring book of beautiful images the story of pandora coffee dyed paper the boat blueprint this is a pocket um, with these two cute gnomes one is skiing and one's just kind of leaning up on a toadstool in a snowy scene and inside is a journal card of a couple of um, gnomes that are tending to a lamb and it has a little cactus on the back and just an original book page from a griffin and sabine book some um, vintage birds little pine cone illustration and um, this is a upper tuck with a little gnome carrying a basket and this is a large journal card with a pine cone and a gnome um, carving the face of like a deer or an elk and it's on the vegetable children's storybook paper and then here actually we have a side pocket between these two pages and inside of it is this beautiful vintage um, illustration page of fishes of the Philippines. And sometimes I just like to include those kind of things for inspiration. You could write on the back as well. And that just tucks right in there. And here we have an envelope that I've made with this vintage image of a badger. And behind the envelope, actually, we've hidden this journal card of a gnome just reading out in this black and white um, illustrated woods. And then inside the um, envelope tuck is um, a gnome playing a handmade harp. And that could just slide in here from the side. Then we have a little bird over here on avocado paper and then a little pocket with a gnome sort of corralling a couple of black hens and a little bird on the back. And then we have a gnome tending to the hoof of a goat, original um, book page. And this is just sort of a snowy scene. This is also an original illustration from the book coffee dyed encyclopedia paper. This is a map that's been jelly printed on. More Grey's Anatomy paper. This is a jelly printed pocket that I've sewn around and inside we have a gnome carving an antler on a journal card. Grey's Anatomy paper. Same kind of concept on this side. I thought it would, I would work with a little theme there. And then another journal card with this little gnome and bluebird friend with some mushrooms on the back. And there's fabric across the top of that one. More dyed papers. And more beautiful coloring book pages. This one features this deer and all this beautiful um, botanical and bird images and a belly band that's been collaged on top of the vegetable paper. And this is a journal card with three little gnomes um, using a, um, like a little shovel to, I guess, collect soil. Some botanicals, some more birds. This is um, a dyed, cabbage dyed doily. And um, an original book page from a Griffin and Sabine book. This is a fabric pocket. And inside is, I think, oops, a little bit of a wool fuzzy there. It happens when you're oh, well, uh, a yarn spinner, you get little fuzzies. But there are two journal cards in here. Um, one is tied at the top with fabric and has two little uh, toadstools. The other is um, about poppies, how gnomes use the poppy plant. and some botanical images. On this side, we have this beautiful blue orchid and this journal card that's been collaged and it has a little gnome talking to a toadstool person. Coffee dead boat, plan paper, a little side tuck of a gnome using dandelion leaf daily to help against constipation. So there's all sorts of um, plant medicine type information from this book and this is a journal card of a couple gnomes feeding some frogs on top of the canada goose paper 
And here we have an original book page of a bunch of little gnomes at night under the moon and the snow and a bunny watching them from the side in front of this big tree. And on this side we have a journal card with a bird. And then some Canada Goose uh, information here. And sort of wildlife lake information. And another journal card with um, some, actually this is my batik fabric. And this is a dandelion stamp and a little gnome. And then this is one of my own digitals that I'll be putting in my shop soon. It's sort of an aquatic scene and um, talks more about the geese, the natural enemies of the geese. And then this is actually just a fold out of a beautiful illustration um, with mushrooms. Hopefully you can see. I'll just move up a little bit here so that you can see these amazing mushrooms. And it goes up here we have some dandelions and some poppies and a bee and that just folds up and has more nice illustrations of acorns and other things and some floral paper an original book page from a griffin and sabine book the other side of that doily more botanicals and bird and um, an upper pocket and then you pull out this gnome journal card and it's just original book imagery with this lovely leaf. And it just tucks right up in there. This side is a jelly print on um, music paper. And this side is um, more of the Pandora coloring book here as well. And then there's this lined paper pocket. And inside of it is this large journal card with this beautiful bird. And it's been collaged. This is a vintage bird card, avocado dyed paper, more dyed paper. This is a, fa a vintage fabric um, pocket of a couple mushrooms and a ladybug. And inside we have a little gnome family. Gray's Anatomy paper. This is a watercolor uh, botanical that's been painted. And inside is a little um, bug uh, journaling card with flowers on the back. And this pocket we have two little gnomes in their nest and inside is a journal card that has some spalted uh, maple at the top and um, this is about um, a goose and some of their their habits in nature and then some a nest of eggs on the back these are all original images from the gnome book and that's a book page from the vintage gnomes book just some acrylic painted space on a vintage um, encyclopedia about plants. Cabbage dyed paper. This is um, a little tuck pocket. It has a bird and some anthropomorphic mushrooms. And in the top we have this little journal tag um, that has a candle and some other tools. These are all images from the original book. And that just tucks in there. And this is music paper, this little bird, we have a little gnome hanging out here. This is knitting chart paper, some botanical. This is images of knots on coffee dyed paper. This little bird, little gnome carving um, a sculpture, another little bird, more birds, lots of beautiful birds in these books. I have a bit of a soft spot for uh, bird images. Here's a woodpecker. And this is um, actually from a stamp collection of Canadian stamps. These were hydrangeas and bumblebees. Birds and music paper that's been cabbage dyed. This is um, from a vintage illustrated encyclopedia. This page is about toadstools. And over here, just more kind of information on mushrooms. Cabbage dyed paper. And then another tuck. This one is has a uh, fungi information and images on both sides. And inside we have this uh, journal card with a gnome holding up um, some food away from this goose. The back is collaged with uh, different colors of paper. And that just tucks up in the top here. Coffee dyed paper and more of the uh, botanical paper. And on the back we have this lovely image on a pocket. 
And inside is another um, collaged journal card. And then we've reached the end of this journal. And we have um, some information here that is uh, showing one of the relationships that uh, gnomes have with wildlife and how they help them out of different problems um, that they run into in the wild. So that is this journal. Um, I will be putting it up on my Etsy probably shortly after this video is posted. And um, yeah, thank you for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day. I will put information in the description box of this video um, with my social media and I will link to the first video for the first um, journal and you will see this one soon. Thanks for watching. Thank you.